Hey, what's up guys? Um, I'm come to you here from uh, Union Bay on Vancouver Island and I'm here just on the coast taking a few photos this morning. It's about 6.30, uh, blue hours in full effect and um, I already got one composition in the bag. It's right here. Yeah, it was just a little bit too dark to film um, at the time, but uh, pretty happy with it. Um, the sun's coming up just to my right, and um, just behind us here, there's a bunch of uh, oyster boats that I'm thinking might take or might make a interesting photo. So I'm gonna hang out around here, shoot a little more video, and then probably get the long lens out and. Uh, See if I can pick off something in the background. So I'm just kind of peeking around uh, for some detail shots and I found this minimalist shot here uh, with a bunch of boats. The light's about to hit it right now. Um, it's really cool. I like it a lot. Uh, it's coming out nice on the back of the screen. Uh, let's see. I'm at one second F11 ISO 2000. And uh, I might get some nice light behind it. I'm not sure. But here's what I got so far. Now, one thing about shooting boats in water, especially in the ocean, is that they don't stay in the same place ever. So you really need to freeze the motion. Long exposures don't really work as well. Um, this one, uh, let's see here. I'm shooting at 0 0.3 of a second or a third of a second. And uh, any longer than that, and the boats would be in motion. This is just as much. I had to fiddle around with shutter speed to just find that perfect spot where they were still. I'm lucky uh, that the ocean really isn't uh, crazy with waves and stuff right now, but um, yeah. So I'm, I'm just sitting on one composition. Um, I'm not really too adventurous. Um, there's not really a whole lot around me. So I'm just gonna sit on these boats because I don't know what it is about this composition. I just think it's so sweet. I'm sorry about the minimum focus distance on here, but I'll show you the shot. Let me turn my ISO down so it's all... It's just super minimalist, and uh, there's just something really tranquil about it. I love it. Um, hopefully, I might get a little bit of color behind it. I'm just holding out for that right now, um, but with that other one and this one that I got this morning. I'm just totally stoked. It is just absolutely gorgeous today. Um, I almost never came out because the forecast said that it was clear. And I mean, it actually is, um, which is kind of annoying because I've just had like five straight days of rain. So I was hoping to get, you know, a nice sunrise today. Tomorrow's looking like a better day for that. But I almost stayed home today and I got a couple photographs I like, so I'm glad I came out. Uh, this is going to be kind of a short one because I'm really only 10 minutes from my house. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to stick around here a little longer and um, see what Golden Hour brings. Okay, so it's kind of an afterthought here, but I just turned my tripod around and there's a 
mountain range right on the end here and you can see these two layers which always kind of strikes my eye but i could not photograph it i'm right at 300 millimeters and uh third of a second f11 iso 160 and uh here's what i got All right, guys, well, as you can see, the lights got pretty harsh and I've got all the best light I could get out of this morning. So I know it was kind of a quick one and I just kind of grabbed myself, my stuff and went this morning. So I didn't really put a lot of thought into this one. So um, hope you enjoyed the images. Thanks for tuning in. And if uh, you like this kind of thing, please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Adios.